All right, so this is the video on the instructional how-to of uh, the decon sprayers for the decon 7 solution. So first things we're going to do is we are going to fill up our portable uh, tank here. Uh, you want to ideally fill it to 120, um, but as high as you can get it is good. And we can fill this either off of a portable tank uh, compressor or we can use the engine. So we're going to connect to our compressor here. And then we're going to open the valve. It looks like this is only going to get to a little over 100 and that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and close the valve, disconnect, and then we're going to open up our sprayer. We're going to open up our pack out box here. We're going to remove the sprayer and the hose. I'm going to connect the hose to the sprayer. And then I'm going to connect this to the portable tank. I'm going to charge the tank and the sprayer. And then I want to ensure that we're at 40 pounds of pressure. This is a little bit high, so I'm going to bleed it off a little bit. Click that back locket, test it, and it looks like we're in that range. So we're good to go there. I'm going to reseal the tank. And then now I'm going to add my solution. Uh, prior to adding the solution, make sure that you have a mask on. Make sure that you have gloves on. Make sure that you have goggles on. The solution is a skin irritant. So if it gets in your eyes, nose, or mouth, it can irritate the skin. Uh, so please be safe. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take my part one, my part two, and my one is white, two is blue, and part three is the activator solution. Simply gonna open all these up. Add it into the hopper. Seal my lid. And then give it a shake. So I want to mix up this solution. For 15 to 20 seconds of shaking is good. After that, I'm going to reopen my tank here. Charge the gun back up. And then I want to do a test spray. So this is a good spray here. We want to see nice wide spray and we want to see good uh, atomization of the solution itself. All right, now I'm going to take this and decon the apparatus. So the first thing you want to do is not get too close to anything and we want to hit it from a little bit of a distance as to not saturate it. So any high touch areas like the bars, and I want to give short bursts. The handle's out here. From a distance, I'm going to hit it. In this way, it'll ensure that we're not oversaturating the area uh, and leaving behind a lot of residue. Then on the inside, we're going to do similar. Spray, spray, Again, trying to hit the high touch areas, such as handles, doors. But again, trying to keep some distance as to not oversaturate uh, areas. Once I've completed uh, deconning the apparatus, then I'm going to move into the station, move into the cabinets, the EMS compartments, equipment. I'm going to pull that equipment out of the apparatus. And I'm going to spray it in the same manner that I did the cab. And then you're done.